it's showtime. This is not financial advice. I just hope you're interested in investing in the crypto space because you came to the right place. I need to know if you're interested in cryptocurrency for the long haul. Hit that like button, subscribe. Tell me your real 1% down in the comments. I'm Project Pat. On my channel, I get you project news, reviews, and overviews with predictions on tokens you want to know about. So hit that like button. Help this reach more people. And let's take a look at the charts tonight, okay? Real quick, Bitcoin on the daily has got some opportunity to move with these moving averages they're starting to look like they're almost getting to their peak the 200 day and the 50 day the 200 days in red here if it can start to turn that corner okay then you've got the 50 day in this light blue right here it can turn back you can see this thing run right back into a bull run what could be the other case they just take a little bit more time than you want and it could sit into this area where we start developing a channel and it chills in the channel for realistically a month to two months right now we've been looking at the trend line if it closes above this trend line and then when stochastic finds its way down it's almost at its peak right now okay so if you if you've been following me with the stochastics we just need to see it find its bottom with a higher low okay, if it can use that higher low you can see this thing start to pull out of its trend that it's been in recently this last couple weeks into this last month okay i don't want to go crazy with our support lines but realistically your weekly support is about 2600 the daily support right now is still sitting at 30,000. all right that support on the daily let me look there's new support or sorry new resistance i apologize okay new resistance on the daily it did break its last resistance the resistance for the daily if i go all the way in let me go down to the hour okay then we can get it okay the daily resistance now is sitting at about almost thirty four thousand dollars your weekly resistance is still going to be at that thirty four thousand six hundred mark so you can see where it's chilling at right now what looks nice is that for the four hour it's finding buying pressure right now and it turned the corner to go back towards the over uh bought area of things and you can see on the one hour it found its peak here it could still potentially keep rising up a little bit it's just got to test that thirty four thousand dollar mark can it break that resistance line that's what you're looking for on bitcoin with eth okay looking at ethereum <clears throat> you see the cross the cross is about to happen on the daily it potentially could happen okay if it happens for eth you're looking at eth falling back down to 1800 could go down to 1700 if it goes past 1700 it's looking like a 1500 dollar eth or potentially about a 1600 dollar eth okay <clears throat> if eth can stay on the line it has it just broke its daily resistance which is nice to see with it breaking its daily resistance now we gotta readjust the lines Okay, it's almost at the weekly resistance here that was pinned back in back at the beginning of the week. Okay, so with this daily resistance finding its way up to about the 2100 range. Okay, the next weekly resistance, it would be sitting at all the way. You're almost looking at a $2,200 Ethereum. If it can break 2200, it's gone beyond this trend line, which is beautiful to see the trend line here. It's seeing itself. Oh, I must have hit the button. I apologize. Trend line there. Readjust it here. Okay. Finding its opportunity to come off that trend line is huge. Now it's it's all looking at stochastics from here on the daily to see what Ethereum's going to do next. If Ethereum goes all the way down past it, okay, into the oversold range, we want to see it find a new bottom, a little bit higher of a bottom. We want to see a bottom in that range of about 1900 to two grand up here in this range if it can find a bottom in that range there you're looking pretty for a nice little run realistically into september or october but what you want to look at is the moving averages here the moving averages are about to cross so eth could do a few different things okay don't forget the um the hard london fork is coming out in august watch for that see what happens there but this tell in the next couple days when the 200 and the 50 meet 
where is ETH going to go? It could go up and break through the resistance. It could go down and test support. It could go both ways. You just got to be ready for it. Looking at Matic, okay? Matic's price chart has done some nice things recently for a lot of people. All right? Looking, looking at Matic realistically, okay? I got to add the daily resistance. Daily resistance is bam, right about there. I'm going to have to change this to light. There we go daily here okay i apologize everybody but this is good for you to learn too okay then we got to have a weekly one all the way down at the bottom weekly is going to be about there okay when you find your weekly guys if these videos are helping you be sure to share them with your friends okay because it it helps me the more people you spread it the more people that help me the more traffic i can get to these channels and then the bigger audience we can grow on the daily, oh, where did that stochastic go? There it is. On the daily, it's at the top, okay? If you're looking to buy Matic in the short term, okay, not financial advice, but just make sure that you're doing your research to find your correct opportunity point to go in. You see your resistance line here. Can it break um, 95 cents? Most likely, potentially it could. We just got to check what's the volume doing on on it right here the volume is not looking too good for polygon right now but it could be another it could happen tomorrow it could happen the next day looking at the fixed range for the volume oh, i clicked the wrong button we want it about there your res your support line for polygon is going to be in that range right about here so moving up the daily uh, come on come on daily help me here there we go your support line for uh, Polygon is going to be at about 86 cents at this point. I'm going to move this price range a little bit. I got to zoom out to get to get a fair shot. We'll move it all the way up to the top of our line here. It's still about the same. The highest volume you're going to see is in that almost 90 cent range. That's your highest volume for Polygon. Moving all the way forward. Let's see if we can see if we can see a better. No, it's about that same range. There, Polygon does have a good opportunity to find itself breaking the uh, resistance here at the daily level. And then it's on to the weekly. The weekly resistance is going to be closer to um, $1.15. That's realistic where the potential resistance is going to be. Is that a guarantee for Polygon? No, because then you have to go, you have to look at your RSI. You have to look at, let's get it. You have to look at your relative strength index, see where it's at right now. It's on the higher side into the overbought territory. Okay, so you got to make sure you're paying attention to that. Then realistically, you got to look into your bowl and your bands. What's it doing on the bowl? Okay, the bowl isn't, bowl isn't too ugly right now. It's on the higher side of things, but we you should have expected that knowing where your daily line of resistance is. Okay, and then moving forward from there, you want to check your uh, stochastics. Okay, I don't want to put all full, all of them up right now and then go start going crazy. With it being down in on the four hour, it has room to keep moving up. Going back to the daily, okay, I'm going to look at the Williams Alligator Indicator real quick. Okay, see what our tells are. I got to take moving averages off for a second. Alligator indicator is it's oh, I kind of like this actually looking at your alligator indicator You're seeing a turn with the green moving back up You want green to be above blue if if there's going to be an opportunity for Matic to break out I know I didn't look at alligator indicator for Bitcoin I'll go back real quick and take a look Bitcoin on the other side of things is seeing the same tells it's seeing an uptrend with green going above blue. If green goes above blue, even on ETH is the same thing. Green goes above blue, the alligator indicator is going to give you an opportunity to find tells where there should be realistic range for a bull run or an opportunity to find higher highs realistically on the short side of things. This doesn't mean when this alligator indicator crosses, it's going to go through the through the roof if it shoots up too quickly it's going to come down really hard don't fomo in make sure you do your own research but this is nice to see that it's almost pushing a dollar is realistic now potentially for matic remember it's not financial advice i'm looking at i'll look at the alligator indicator cardano has a little bit more room 
to wiggle okay it's got some time it needs more time to move okay if you're looking at cardano i would be looking into let's see the um moving averages moving averages ha aren't close yet so cardano still has an opportunity to keep moving forward i just lost my 50 day i apologize i was trying to hit that i'm still getting good, better at this i'm like 20 videos in i'm figuring out my channel i'm getting better at all these things where i have to talk think look and do okay just give me one of those uh, real ones in the chat or leave a heart in the chat if you just appreciate me trying my best in every video because that's all i'm looking to do i'm just tr i'm having fun doing these things wake up every morning excited to put one out for you guys today i tried my best to do a tiktok video that was a whole brand new experience for me let me tell you three hours of studying doing research on how to do a tiktok video to put out a 12 second video it was a lot of work but i felt happy that i got to do it and i like the music that i put on it too so go check down in the description below to my tiktok channel um, i'm trying i really am i'm gonna give get, keep giving it my best opportunity looking at the alligator indicator for cardano it is um got more room to wait for harmony harmony's been weird recently okay i was looking at harmony and the alligator indicator came over the top for a second and then it started to dip again but it's nice to see that harmony can move Harmony hasn't been um, moving super dependently on everybody else. It's kind of done its own thing recently. And you can see it's going to make a small move, okay? The band isn't really far away from it. So that means it could come back into the green quickly. It's just realistically here on the weekly, we can move the weekly up because that's a fair trade. It's more like $0.09 cents at this point. And then their daily resistance is going to be pushing right now for Harmony, more like the $0.07 cent range all the way up. Let me see. I'm going to go. I have to take off alligator indicator real quick. Let's get our price range here. We'll take a look at it from top to bottom. I need it down here. Okay, there we go. Your resistance is sitting. Yeah, like I said. Um, oh, wait. I went for $0.09. Cents. Resistance is probably going to look towards $0.08. Cents. So we could pull this thing down a little bit more. That's going to be more of the resistance line for Harmony. Can it get over the seven, the $0.08 cent mark? It could, it could potentially be done. That daily support line is going to be right in this range here at about $0.6.5. Cents. With that weekly resistance all the or sorry the weekly support line it's probably going to be more like the five and a half cents range okay so that's what um harmony is looking at i didn't want to make this a super long video and i tried my best and it still came out to 13 minutes i apologize for making super long videos one of the things one of my buddies was saying was hey try a shorter video try and do a shorter video because you've done uh, some 30 minute ones so i'm trying a shorter video here guys and um i want to say thank you for everybody who's been watching giving me feedback i appreciate the comments i appreciate the support never forget why you get into cryptocurrency okay down below elaborate on the reasons for your journey okay don't let fomo control you leave a like to help this video reach more people watch my other videos on price prediction subscribe to stay up to date comment on what tokens you want me to do a deep dive into next it's all love thank you for being a part of my journey until next time pat out